Developing at 5 o'clock here tonight, the Cincinnati daycare connected to disturbing claims of abuse is trying to reopen. That's right, and WCPO 9 News reporter Courtney Francisco brought you this news first today. She's actually been following this case for more than a month now. She's actually live right now at the Hamilton County Courthouse tonight. Courtney, what's the latest? Well, I was with the attorney for the daycare this afternoon just after he filed an appeal here asking a judge to let the daycare reopen. Last month, I told you JFS shut it down. In addition to this appeal, the attorney has a hearing next month with JFS challenging that. Will parents soon carry their kids through these doors for care again? Like he loves his daycare. He says it all the time. A judge will decide now. I've missed work multiple times because of that. The daycare's attorney, Carl Lewis, just filed an appeal at the Hamilton County Courthouse asking a judge to allow the daycare to operate again while disturbing accusations of child abuse linger. Small Kids Adventures Learning Center should not be closed. Last month, Job and Family Services shut it down, arguing the daycare failed to fire or suspend an employee after discovering a abuse. Plus, the record said police say it appears multiple staff members harmed children. They questioned whether the previous owner abused a child. We have no evidence to substantiate what has been alleged numerous here. Numerous workers hurt numerous that's, children. That's not true. That's not true at all. And I believe there's one other allegation against the previous owner, as they say, who may have forcibly grabbed the child by the arm. But again, th that evidence I haven't seen it and I want to see the video. He said the daycare quickly fired Christian Hemet last month after the owner discovered video of her ripping a one year old's hair out and gave their surveillance video to investigators. Yesterday, the Hamilton County prosecutor used the video to add more charges in that case, arguing Hemet abused the child another day at one point, dropping her and carrying her by the arm or neck. They've done everything in their power to assist. His appeal says the daycare should not be penalized, but rather applauded. We've entered introduced you to parents skeptical since this surfaced. I want to know if either of my children are on that video. The daycare's attorney said JFS can expect to hear from more than a dozen parents next month at a hearing. He actually like enjoyed being there. He learned a lot. They will then present their position on how great this daycare was. I will then argue that there is insufficient evidence based on this video to shut them down. So if JFS decides to allow this daycare to reopen at that hearing next month, the attorney says he will pull the appeal he filed here at the courthouse today. Reporting live in Cincinnati, Courtney Francisco, WCPO 9 News.